When I saw the Netflix takeover, I knew it was a wrap. I started screaming for Blockbuster like that lady did with Dollar Tree. Alright, you're not gonna take this well. They shutting down Dollar Tree. They shutting down Dollar Tree, they is. I'm telling you, they is. For real, they is. Best Buy has announced they're gonna stop selling DVDs in 2024 and CDs. They pretty much already exist. They took the CD players out of cars. So the only way you're gonna listen to CDs is if you have a CD player. And if you're walking around with a CD player in 2024, we gotta put you on some kind of list. Look, the point is we traded ownership for convenience and cash. And sometimes I get a little paranoid about it. 2007 and 2008 changed our lives forever. In 2007, we got Netflix as a streaming site. Before that, they were sending us DVDs in the mail and it would press you if you've got to send it back. Don't ask me how I know. Now in 2008, we got Spotify. And yes, we had things before that like Napster in 1999 and Deezer in 2007, but people would really start to care in 2008 with Spotify. The ability to pull out a device and, and hear every song you wanted to hear instead of carrying a stack of burnt CDs that you had to write with marker to figure out which CD was which, it was a game changer. We had to see us. We changed out our CD collection for apps on our phone. We threw away our DVDs and VHSs and got streaming services. What could possibly go wrong? We're saving space. We got everything we wanted as far as entertainment. What could be the problem? The problem is the amount of control that we give to these streaming services, right? You pay a monthly subscription with the understanding that if you stop paying, you have nothing to show for it. All your entertainment is gone. We also have to understand that at any point, the streaming service can stop licensing the rights to your favorite show or movie. And now you gotta find it all over again. There are thousands and thousands of streaming services. I mean a little dramatic, but you know what I mean. And when your favorite show was gone, you gotta find it over again and subscribe to a whole new streaming service. A streaming service that you may have never even wanted. I wanted to watch Michael Scott make promises he can't keep on Netflix. Netflix got rid of the office. Now I had to download Peacock and buy a subscription for like $5.99 or something. What else is on Peacock to watch? I don't know. I didn't even know it was out. We're essentially jumping out of subscriptions to watch the four to five shows that we actually want to watch. Subscriptions and streaming services have become this weird, expensive buffet. And if we're being honest about buffets, it's a lot of mediocre food with two or three things that you actually like to eat. That's what streaming services have become. Look, I'm not saying that streaming services aren't an incredible invention or that I'm even going to stop using them. I'm just saying that sometimes I think about the fact that we don't own any of the art that we love. And even though this is probably never going to happen, I think about how easily it can be taken away. What if they start regulating how we listen to music and watch movies? What if they put that U2 album back on our phones like they did in 2014? Ooh, scary times. But look, the truth is that we might be too far gone unless we're gonna start carrying CD players and DVDs the same way the minimalists have been carrying flip phones these days. It might be too late for us. What do you choose? Do you choose convenience or do you choose ownership? I can't believe that Netflix stopped carrying the office. I gotta go 